Hey YouTubers, Raymond T. Vinyl here. Happy bed! <laughs> so glad to be back on YouTube. Man, it's been a year I think. I think it's close to a year since I've been able to post a video. This past year, I think every single electronic that I own has died. And it started with the flip quarter that I use, their program because they um, dissolved the company or something or sold it and they decided not to move forward with that program and so my flip quarter became useless after a year. So that died. Then I went on a vacation and um, the minute I got out of the cab I was in Boston. My phone crashed onto the street and shattered. <laughs> so I had to get a new phone. And then Let's see, my Bose speakers died. Um, they were so old, they just, the um, woofer died and popped and ripped. So I bought um, a pair of vintage um, speakers, and then they got a turntable in that I desperately wanted, a Techniques, which I will, I think I've shown a picture of that on YouTube, so you guys have seen that, the auto, automatic, semi-automatic automatic one, and so, Yay, got that. Then my laptop died, <laughs> so I had to get a laptop. So needless to say, these things cost money, and I don't exactly pull in a fortune, and so I had to take my time with um, replacing these type of objects, and so I finally have been able to find a camcorder that's smarter than me and easy to use, and thank you, Sai Ting, for all your assistance with that. Um, she helped me pick something out and so here we are. So I just received the camera today and still getting used to what it does and how to work it, etc. So this is my first video, so hey, ooh, ooh, let's go this way, miss you guys. So real fast, um, I'm just gonna share some records that have been a highlight over you know, the past six months or so. I'm still heavily into garage and psychedelic. Doesn't mean I'm not buying other things, but the majority of my taste is still leaning towards um, psychedelic and um, garage, especially the new bands that are out there doing psychedelic, which is really great stuff. What we're listening right now for background music, Tough Guitar, Al Kaola. Oh, it's so strange how this works. This is our United Artists, a stereo copy. This has to be mid-60s. What a great, his period, anything in this period from him. I highly recommend if you love this kind of sound. So, here we go. A reissue of Love's first album. Gosh, Tink played this for me when I visited her. I went nuts, had to have it. Um, they kind of tried to duplicate the uh, United Artists label. Excellent. I mean, this is one of those albums that's so expensive, an original copy in excellent condition that I just got tired of waiting. Same thing with this one, uh, The Velvet Underground and Nico, their first album with the Warhol Banana. I might have to figure out how to bring the camera back further, I think. But um, it is a mono reissue, 180 gram on Burr. Gosh, this is just a must-own for every Rock and Rollers collection. You have to have this album. And again, an original copy is so incredibly expensive, especially if the banana's not been peeled, which is next to impossible to find. I mean, you're getting close to the upper three digits and four digits. No. Um, this is a German early 80s band, very similar to uh, Joy Division, um, synth, early synth called 39 Clocks, the 39 Clocks. Uh, Used Kids got this in and played it for me and I had to have a copy. Really cool stuff, I've played this quite a bit. Tame Impala, this is along the lines of today's psychedelic music. This is their second album. It was out of print for a while and this, I think this album's about three years old now. It's a double set. Very cool, um, and they finally started printing it again. I don't remember the name of the record label. Apologize for that. Um, ugh, sorry. Um, I give up. Um, they're playing this absolutely to death. This is the Who sell out. Uh, the cover is really terrible, but my um, vinyl is really good. Stereo copy, and I also just recently found the mono copy. So it's so fun to compare the two. Um, M Moss. This is a band from, I want to say Massachusetts, Psychedelic. They just broke up. They're on my most favorite record label right now called Trouble of Mind. I'm going to be showing a couple of these. I love this record label. They're out of Chicago. And Spoonful, Brett gets a lot of uh, Trouble of Mind records in, and I'm going crazy. 
So really cool stuff. Oh, it just got dark or something. I'm not sure what that did. Another Trouble in Mind brand new release from uh, January, Doug Tuttle. He was in the band in Moss. This is all embossed. And if you ordered, pre-ordered, you got colored vinyl. So this is like a green marble. I hope you can see that. Um, picked up the police, excellent copy, and just excellent condition. Goes to the machine. Um, had this years ago, disappeared from the collection, now we have it back, yay. Uh, Flaming Lips and Tame Impala. This was a special issue that was only available at their concerts, and during um, Black Friday Record Store Day, Brett was able to get some copies, and it's in this fantastic splatter vinyl. Oh, that trippy? <laughs> Love it. Very cool. Uh, one of my number one albums right now. This again, Trouble of Mine, Morgan Delt. Oh my gosh, talk about the acid trip. That is this album. Let me see if I can brighten that. It seems like it's really dark. We'll see how this turns out. Um, the vinyl again, extremely limited. I think they only did 200 pressings in this color. It's like a slime green. And it sold out within 45 minutes. I just happened to check my email and said the, they opened up the pre-order and I ordered it and I was one of the fortunate ones to get one. Yay. Fantastic record. Love it. Um, <clears throat> import compilation of the Standells Dirty Water. Um, this is their harder side, so really cool album. Um, the record label, Eva Records. Delphonics original copy on Philly Groove Records. Love it. Delphonics Super Hits. I think this was their fourth album. And it would have been 1970. So love them. Any of their early stuff, I highly recommend. So glad to see you all again. Um, I have been catching trying to catch some videos here and there. Uh, work's been stressful as always. And I'm um, so glad to be back and uh, please share your comments and looking forward to seeing your videos again. As always, play a record today, Ramy T Vinyl.